Hello YouTube, it's CJ the Immortal here, back with another episode of the Star Wars Battlefront Beta, and what is most likely my last video of the Star Wars Battlefront Beta. Um, this might be after the beta uh, ends that you guys see this, but that's okay because I'm just going to be talking about my final impressions. I'm also playing some drop zone Celeste in the background. I finally have the jump pack, so I'm going to be able to test out, but that's besides the point of this video. So, let's start with the bad I guess because there's not very much of the bad so basically the only bad I really have gotten so far was the first day I started playing it took me forever to try to find a match and it was a pain in the butt and I was waiting for a long time and it just got annoying but um really besides that um for a beta okay that happened for a beta it seems very good. It's obviously missing on a few things. It's gotten boring playing the same map and game mode over and over again, but we won't have that problem in the full game, so that's okay. Um, but really, I honestly think this is one of my most hyped up for games of the year, especially after this beta. I loved the game as a kid, and I almost love it even more now because this game is sick like it's honestly amazing I don't see how you couldn't like it like if you're a fan of Star Wars you're gonna love it basically that's that's the gist of it if you like Star Wars you're gonna like it even if, you, if you're a fan of Battlefield games you'll probably even like it you have to get used to the Star Wars theme sure but just a really good shooter I feel like too it's got some interesting mechanics it's definitely an interesting game and it's the beta was amazing if you guys didn't get to play it you definitely missed out it was um let, let me be honest here the black ops 3 beta tops it because you know I'm a Call of Duty fanboy basically I've been playing Call of Duty since I was like Frickin' four, but you know this game is not far off. It is um fun. It has pretty good gunplay. I love the sounds. The sounds of everything are so authentic, and it just feels like the movie. Like that's honestly the best part of this. They made it feel like you're actually playing in the movie like that is what they really captured well in this game like in the first battlefront it was just kind of like you're shooting people with star wars skins but in this with the sounds and the environments and the graphics it feels like you're in the movie especially in the battle of hoth oh my god it literally feels like i'm in the movie it is the best thing ever and why are they taking so little damage, I feel like? I don't know. I feel like I should be doing a lot more damage than I'm doing. But maybe I'm just going crazy. But, um... Also, I will say, it seems to me like the sniper is really overpowered. Everyone uses it. The jump pack is almost a necessity in a way. It is so overpowered. Um, most of the guns seem pretty balanced, actually. Or should I say the blasters? They're not guns, they're blasters. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is, well I guess it's not really a worry, it's just kind of a, a nuanced thing because, you know, I, I watch the movies and everything. It bothers me that the Empire and the Rebels can have the same guns. Like an Empire can use a, you know, like, like the main, I feel like there should be, the main blaster should be unique. Because you can play with the Rebels' main blaster as the Empire, and vice versa. I feel like they should just get rid of that and make it so um, there's like that one unique one to each of them. Because that just, it just, you know, I don't know. That's just how it seems to me. But I don't know how that would work for balance and everything. So maybe what they're doing is the right thing. But at least for me personally, I think they should do that. Like th this A280C. I think that should be a Rebel exclusive, and I think that E11 maybe should be a Empire exclusive. Just my opinion, though. 
Um, realistically, problems with the beta are very few. The positives greatly outweigh the negatives, and I am really looking forward to the launch in November, whenever, whatever day it is in November. Um, but yeah, guys, I really, 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 really liked the beta. That's as much as I can say, because that's how much I liked it. It was that much. It was... It was just ridiculously good. I loved it. I loved it, loved it, loved it. It's actually, you know, I might be able to play the beta a little more because I just realized the day I'm recording this, the beta still has quite a while to go. Like, I don't think it ends for another few days, but I should probably move on and play some new games. I think I've played enough of the beta. There's too little con, like little content to keep playing. It's the only thing with this beta. Like, I want to play on the new maps. That's what I really want to do. I love, like, the feeling. Like, I can't wait for, like, the Battle of Andor and all those different battles. It's just so exciting. I really hope they do, like, oh. and the campaign. Oh, my God. If they do a Battle of Endor-themed campaign mission and all these different theme campaign missions of, like, different battles and the... Oh, my God. That's going to be amazing. I cannot wait for this game to come out already. Like, jeez. But, um, I guess that's all I have to say in this video. I'm kind of just rambling on at this point. Um, I guess the only other thing I can really tell you guys is, um, the only thing is, I'm playing this on Xbox One. I figure I should just say that because, I don't know, some people might care about that for some reason. Um, I'm just an Xbox One fanboy. I've always played on Xbox. It's just how I do. It is how I do. Um, hope you guys don't hate me for playing on Xbox. I do play on PS4 too. Like, I have a PS4 sitting right next to my Xbox One. Just whenever I get the option between the two, I choose Xbox One. Just cause. Unless there's like a huge reason to pick one over the other. Like, um... I'm actually not getting Black Ops 3 for the PS4, even though there's a huge advantage to getting it for the PS4. Only reason I'm doing that is because my buddies, my friends, they play on Xbox One. And I want to play with my friends. The only thing, I really hope they still have the Call of Duty World League on the Xbox One. Even though it's not the main, but th this is besides the point. I am just talking about a different game now. What am I doing? We are playing Star Wars. And I'm dead. I am very dead. Um, okay. I guess this is kind of like the last thing I have to say. In my opinion, guys, this is my opinion. My opinion. I think that Walker Assault and the bigger more people games way more enjoyable for multiple reasons um it feels more realistic to like you're actually like play like in the Star Wars movie like it feels better to me um also I feel like the game flows a lot better with vehicles and everything especially when you get in the vehicles only thing about Walker Assault is it's extremely, extremely umpire sided. I feel like they need to balance a little more, give the Rebel a few more ways to destroy vehicles. Maybe a few vehicles of their own. Just to make it a little. I know, I don't know if that'd be very realistic. It would be. It would make. It would be good balance wise because the umpire. I know the umpire is supposed to win that fight, you know, based on the movie, but it's just. It's just too much. It's too much. I can feel it every time I play on the side of the um, of the uh, Empire. It feels so much more overpowered. Whereas I don't get that on this map that as much. But anyway, guys, I really like this George Battle from Beta. Very little complaints, just a little spotty connection. A few a little more connection issues, but really loved it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And it's your boy CJ the Immortal here. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.